Hi everybody, I'm Trisha. That's Manny. And over there is Lucy. I wanted to add more to some of my stories um, to share some of my experiences that I've had that are unique, um, maybe not the usual experiences, um, paranormal, spiritual, mystical, uh, etc. However you want to word it. Um, okay, so I'm going to share some of my stories of when I have felt the presence of a spirit um, or if I've seen a spirit, um, some of these stories. Okay. Um, I want to start by saying that over the years, um, I have spent a lot of time and energy and effort and thought on these the subjects of spiritual versus religious, mystical, um, philosophy, psychology, uh, sociology, behavior, you know, interpersonal relationships, um, wellness, longevity, uh, outdoor stuff, nutrition, fitness, all sorts of, I have like lots of interests, okay, gardening, landscape, I, I mean, I could go on and on, I, I have lots of interests and I take the time to, to read and learn and, and when I, when I'm interested in something, I look at, um, multiple, um, answers. So it'd be like, um, if I'm interested in, uh, understanding, um, nutrition in the sense of, um, like, like, uh, in the way, like a holistic, a holistic way to, to, to be healthy and well in life. Um, I will read, um, multiple books to find out, you know, the same answers so that I can see that, that there's a common, there's some common, um, um, ground on the same, coming from the same answer, if that makes sense. So I say that because that's how I've been with all my interests. Um, I might, um, read, about, um, so, so with, with the spiritual stuff, um, you know, you know, a person could have a natural interest and never have an experience. Um, they may hear other people's experiences and think, wow, that's really cool. I want to learn more about that. Um, and then there's the person that has their own experiences and whatever it is, whatever the experience is, they had it, it happened to them. They saw it. They were there. They felt it. Whatever. You can't, once it happens, it's a, it's a, it's a knowing. It's not a believing. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with believing in something. It's just that when you have the experience, then it's, it becomes a, a known. Okay. But you know what? There are also ways to have a knowing without ever having, uh, seeing the person or having the experience or whatever. That's one of our inner senses. You know, we all have these inner senses. We have our physical senses and we have our inner senses. And the capital K knowing is one of those senses. Um, so I, I mean, I've really spent years on all sorts of topics and subjects that have all sorts to do with what I'm talking about right now. And, um, when I was about I can't remember the exact age. I'm tr I've been trying to figure it out. I think it's about six or seven. And I had an experience that out of nowhere um, where I was in my room when I was a kid and getting ready to go to bed and an invisible presence, um, a flowing of energy, it was as us. If you can imagine a um, a mist, not a mist, um, a flowing of a, of of sort of that um, um, what do you call it? The 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 ice, the the ice that's misty. I'm totally blanking on what that's called. The uh, dry ice, you know, that dry ice stuff, or like um, um, something. I don't know. I'm tr I can't. I mean, it's hard to explain. You know this flowing of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of energy, um, that came out of the corner ceiling of my room. 
And as, as the moment it started, I, I could feel it. And it just was this, this, this sort of uh, uh, energy that um, did not have visible to it at all. It was, it was totally invisible, but I could tell um, that it was taking up space in my room. And it was as if, I don't know how to explain it, like as if you pour, okay, so imagine pouring like ink into water and how it flows in. I guess, and how it flows into the water. That is sort of like how it was, and it just started taking up more and more space in my room, and um, it felt it was it was it was very unique. I've never experienced. I had never at that moment experienced anything like that before, and it was it was um, just the only feeling that that it was was I feel this. Like there wasn't a anything to do with good, bad, negative, positive. It was nothing like that. It was just, uh, I can feel this energy, meaning I can feel this presence uh, of, 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 of this sort of energy that's taking shape that has no visibleness to it. And so after that, as the years have gone by and I've put together, you know, experiences that I've had um, and learning about all this, um, some people call it a spiritual awakening, where there's something about this energy that came to my room when I was little. Um, it seems to have um, opened up my senses. It, it, it heightened my inner senses. Um, and so I started having experiences. Um, and like some first experiences that I noticed was time was, was it started feeling a little different. Sometimes I'd feel like this, this inner feeling of time being sped up and, and time being slowed down. And I would, you know, go about being a kid in elementary school, like <laughs> trying to keep my calm and my composure as I was trying to figure out what is going on. And, um, and then, um, I had where I, I would, I, um, I just remember all of a sudden one, one, one night waking up in the middle of the night and, 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 uh, this was, I don't know the exact time frame of when I, when these experiences started happening after this presence came to my room. Um, but it was in a, a time of like within, I don't know. I just remember that, that the age range that I was. I was I was still in elementary school and maybe I don't know, seven, eight, somewhere in there. But so I woke up in the middle of the night and it was the loudest sound of silence that you can imagine. You know, when it's completely, completely still. Like you there is no sound whatsoever. It's like a humming. It's like a loud humming. And I feel like from my studies over the years that um, the sound of Om, which you might hear in different um, philosophies or religions or, or spiritual practices or just, just uh, um, mindfulness practices um, about hearing uh, about this word Om, O-M. And there's different spellings of it. I think that it also could be H-O-M, just depending. Um, but the sound of it is considered the primordial sound of the universe. So this, the sound of silence, I guess, you know, I, I just know that I, I heard it. It was super loud. And, um, I think it happened more than one time. I mean, it was a f like, I don't know how many times that I would wake up in the middle of the night and hear this loud humming. Um, like, mm, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but like, like that. Um, so that happened. And then the next thing I remember after that, and this is what I was, I'm, I'm leading to, to, to get to this. Okay. Um, when I was about eight or so, um, or seven, I can't remember exactly. I could, I could look it up and, and figure it out, but we, my, my family, me, my mom and dad, we, uh, did a road trip from California where I'm from across the States to Illinois to, and my grandparents were with us or they had met up with us or something. They had their, uh, their fifth wheeler, they were pulling their fifth wheeler and 
I think we might have just met them there at um, my great aunt and uncle's house. And um, so we were we stayed there to visit. And um, so I, I guess I'm pretty sure it was the first night we were there. My grandparents were staying in their trailer in the driveway. And everybody else, my me, my mom and dad, aunt and uncle, we were all in the house. And it was my very first time at this house. I had my, they had me in an, my own room. My parents were somewhere in a room somewhere else, and my aunt and uncle were in their own room. So I do not know how far into me getting ready to go to bed, meaning like I was in my bed, and all of a sudden, and I, I, I've been trying to figure out this part of it. Was my door open or was it shut? I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it was open. I feel like my door was open, but I don't remember that part. All I know is out of nowhere, a guy walks into the room and just stands very, very just bluntly walks right into the room and stands right in the middle of the room. And it was like, I can just, it was as if it just happened. Um, it was just the shape of a man, like, like a silhouette. Like, like I couldn't, there was no features or anything, but, but it was a man standing there. And, um, I could tell he had, you know, it was a, it was a figure, like a human figure that was wearing clothes, but I just it was just completely like like I want to say dark, meaning meaning dark like meaning there was no color to it. It was just and it almost like was it because it was dark in the room so I couldn't see who it was. I don't know. It's just that just that's just what happened. And uh all I know is then I wanted to get out of there. Um that's just all I can tell you. Um, and I don't remember, I think he just then walked back out of the room. Like, I don't know what, who, why he did that. You know, I don't know if he was like, what are you doing in my room? Or who are you? Or like, it was, that I don't know. But I just wanted to get out of there because I didn't want to be in there anymore. Like it just, that's what, how it made me feel. I didn't know where my parents were. And I wasn't going to go running through the house opening doors. You know, that's just what I was thinking. So I literally, I just went outside to where my grandparents were and went, uh, just knocked on their door and uh, they opened it and they were like excited to see me. And I asked if I could stay with them and they were excited that, that I would want to. They didn't even question it at all. Uh, years later, so that was like I said, when I was like seven or eight or something. So years later... Throughout the years, you know, been up to my grandparents' property a zillion times. I love going up there, and there's been times where it's my just me and my family with them, or if it's just other family members there too. This particular time, it was just me and my grandparents, and um, I'm going to say, I'm trying to think, probably it was the later 2000s. I don't remember exactly, but I'm just going to say that it was later 2000s and we were playing like cards at the table and my, my grandma loved playing cards and board games and stuff like that. And we had the radio on and we were listening to Kenny Law Lo- or not Kenny Loggins. We were listening to Kenny Rogers and just, it was just a really nice time. And, and out of the blue, all of a sudden I had this memory of that moment when I knocked on the door and asked, I could come, you know, sleep in there with them. And, um, and so I said, Grandma, do you remember the time when, and then, you know, when I, that time we went to go visit Aunt Hope, and I knocked on the door or whatever, and I, you know, I, do you remember that? And, and they were like, yes, yes, yeah, we remember that. I'm like, do you know why I wanted to come stay with you guys? No, well, it's because you wanted to be with us. And I'm like, well, yeah, that too. Uh, but it was because I saw a ghost. So... They, they, they listened and, uh, you know, over the years, I think my family has come to know that, that that's, you know, what happens with me and found out years later back in uh, 2009 that my mom was just very open and finally said, yes, I know you see things and, you know, kind of very validated me like with my experiences. So that was that was nice. OK, so that happened. That was, you know, like I said, you know, that was in uh 78, 1978. Okay. So then the next experience was when I was in high school, I spent a ton of time at my boyfriend's house. 
I, w- I was with him from, I think, I'm going to say 85 through 88, and then we were communicating a little bit in, into 80, not 1989, whatever, but we, were, we broke up like in 88. Anyways, okay, so I spent a ton of time at their house, and so, I mean, I'm going to say like, so I started seeing him in 85, so I'm going to say like in 87, it could have been like 87 or, or the, you know, in the middle of 86, or I, I don't remember exactly, but all I know is um, we, were in the, we were in the family room watching TV, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, for no apparent reason, the blender turned on, and it was just, it was in the middle of the day, and, you know, a blender, you have to, like, really push the button to get it to turn on, and so, so, so I just remember him walking over, like, kind of slowly, like, what the heck, and, we, you know, that was, that was, uh, trippy, okay, that was the start of a couple different things that happened, like, that was the intro of the, of the spirit, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them know I'm here, <laughs> um, and so, so then, um, this one day, I don't remember if it was in the morning or night. Uh, I stayed over at my boyfriend's house a lot. And uh, I was in his bed. And all of a sudden, this presence um, walked into the room out of, out of nowhere. Um, not like super slow, like creeping, creeping, creeping in, anything like that. Just, just, just walked into the room. And I was able to tell the, the height and the shape, the size of, of that, of this presence, um, it was just, it was just peaceful, it was, it was very neutral, um, and, um, and then it walked back out of the room, and so that was number two of me, um, feeling the presence of, of a person in a room. Uh, then the water, his waterbed, it was like the, the, the years of the waterbed, <laughs> um, so his waterbed, bed, out of the blue, after that, um, leaked so we were staying in his sister's room old room at the end of the hall and uh I noticed that the door would kind of swing open and I honestly just thought it was I don't know this maybe the the door frame was off or a, a wind in the house or a breeze or you know maybe a window is open so it's making the the fluctuation of the pressure and whatever I mean but I I, I also remember it was kind of like you know just felt a little bit like hmm so this one night, um, he uh, pissed me off super bad. <laughs> I don't remember what he said, but I was so pissed that I was going to go sleep in the living room. <laughs> so I went out and laid down on the couch. And that that room was like one of those rooms that's like in the middle of the, the, the hall, you know. And uh, so you, the, there's a, the, the pathway that goes from the bedroom's through the hall to the fat past the living room on one side and the, the, the dining room on the other towards the kitchen. So I'm laying there. I was there for like, I don't know, like less than 30 seconds, I think. And then all of a sudden I heard somebody footsteps just bam, 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 coming down the hall like super quick and stop right behind me. So I thought it was him. So I turn around really fast like there and uh, there was no one there. And I was like, holy shit. And I just got up and I bolted. I think I ran quicker than I've ever in my life back to his room. And all of a sudden I was like, not caring. <laughs> I was mad. I forgot that I was mad at him. And I was like, holy shit, there was something out there. So, so that was, you know, n- number two. Um, and the next experience that, um, that I remember that was pretty, pretty decent. Um, you know, pretty, uh, I don't know, in- influential or, or, uh, made a big impression on me was um, in 99, 1999, I was living in South San Jose in a two-story house and uh, with a roommate, and she was hardly ever home. My bedroom was upstairs, and um, so I was, I had the house to myself a lot, and so I have this routine, I had this routine for a very long time of after, you know, getting ready for bed, and then I would read in bed, and uh, then I'd go to sleep. So, I'm reading in bed, and all of a sudden, I start hearing this tapping on the wall uh, to my left. Um, like, imagine if you had next to your bed, it, like, uh, what do you call it, like a nightstand or whatever. So, however distance that is from you when you're in the middle of, of your bed. And then above 
that nightstand ish in on the wall kind of above the headboard you know in that range of, of the wall um, 